In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a simple list for your business. It doesn't matter if you have a big social media presence, a small one or a big one, or if you have a podcast, or if you have a big YouTube channel, you need to have a list because you want to have a place of where you can actually capture your customer, your prospect, email address, or name and phone number, and then you can send information out to them. It's important to do that. So if you're trying to build a business, you need a list. My name is Adam Shelton, and thank you for watching this video today. For more edutainment, information that's going to grow your business and it's going to grow your channel or even your blog post go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell notification when i do videos just like this and don't forget right below this video you can sign up for your free aweber account get started or building a list right now let's go ahead and dive into the content now the first thing you want to do if you're not really have a subscription to aweber you want to go ahead and click on there and sign up for your aweber subscription it's very easy to start. Get started with Aweber today. They have a fantastic customer service team. So go ahead, fill out this information, sign up and get started today. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that step there. It's really easy to do. It's really your name, address, phone number, your basic information, and then you go forward from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into the information. This is a test account that we're gonna go ahead and log into so I can show you exactly how this works. Now, when you get to this page, you get to account dashboard, it shows your subscribers, how many has been added, how many yesterday and unsubscribed. This could be you. This can be used in terms of like, let's say you're doing a Facebook Live or a YouTube Live or even a blog post. You can get subscribers every day with Aweber just by building a list and having people go to that particular list for they can go here and subscribe to your actually email list. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna look at that dashboard. We want to look at all this. This is the dashboard. This is the broadcast that was sent. And this is the, all the list that I built in the past. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to build a simple list, create a new list. Okay. So the next thing we want to go ahead and do is a company name. It says set up your list. We want to set up an email list for we can email our subscribers. We want a list sent. So here we, here we go. So the next thing I want to do is fill out my name. So let's say, let's say, let's say testing. This will be a testing one. Email address, I mean, company website. So that's going to be a testing one there. Um, I also can have a different address. So I can set up a different address in here. So I'll just leave this address the same. It says we have trouble verifying the website. It's okay. It's okay because it's just a testing anyway. And the sender name, I can change the sender name as well. So basically, this will show up, appear with your email, so your name will appear. So if you wanna have a different name, put a different name here, or also a sender email address, you can put something down here. You can add a new one. So let's go ahead and add a new one. Testing at Okay, simple email list, send verification, done, that's it. So I will check my email inbox to verify that, to make sure that's good to go. But we're gonna go ahead and use a test one right here. So go ahead, click on next. What would you like to name your list? So we want this list to be, let's say I am, I want this list all to come from my social media list. So Facebook, or let's say YouTube, since we're on YouTube right now, YouTube, social media contacts so basically this list is going to be from everybody from youtube like youtube channel promotions anything i'm doing i want this list to be all my customers coming from youtube to this list at least that's the actually the whole um idea of this briefly describe the email subscriber are going to receive you you're going to receive up to date information on, on how to grow your YouTube YouTube channel. So that's what they're gonna get. Okay, the language is gonna be English. So we're gonna keep it lingo English. And it says subject line, choose an approved subject line or request a custom one. This is your current subject line. So basically when they go ahead and confirm, um, confirm 
they actually message to become a new subscriber, they're gonna get this subject line that says confirm your subscription. So you can change this if you want to, to go from, from a custom one, or you can use one of these, uh, use one of these. I use this keyword very basic. So confirm your subscription for that way a new subscriber can confirm it. And here's the message preview. So this is gonna look like, so you can click on edit there. I can change the actually the button text, um, the signature, the header. I usually keep this the same and I usually click on preview and this is the way it looks like. So when they get the message, it keeps here. Now you can change this, you can change the header, you can actually change the button and the signature, but I keep it very, very basic. I just want them to subscribe to the information. And then I approve the message and create list and check it out. It should be already on here. So if I go to manage list and if I go to YouTube social media context. So now they are, I have a list that's already built to that particular one already. So we're good to go there. So if I click on there, it's good to go. So the next thing I could do now is double check it. So this is the unique list ID that basically customers will go right into. Um, I can change this information if I need to. I mean, it's definitely, definitely doable to do that. So we create a simple list. Now, if I go to, so I'm already at the active list here. So my active list here. So I can actually add subscribers to this actually list here. So I've got the list, active list, YouTube, social media contacts. So I can add an email list. Let's say, you know, I didn't get a chance to get an automated set up, but I wanted to add somebody here, um, you know, just on a manual way, I can go to Ted, Ted at testing at testing.com. And I'm gonna add that subscriber to that deal. It's a different address needed. Okay, let me, let me add a, another one that I know will be here. I'll add mine in here. So this is my, one of my email addresses. Let me add that there. So a subscriber has been added to YouTube social media contact list. So if I go to subscribers, you're gonna see this one right here. It's pending right now. So now what's happening is a confirmation email has been sent to this email address and it's waiting for me to confirm that this is me or not. So I can actually can go check it out. So let me go ahead and check that out. Let me see if I can check this email. See, email. So right there, see that, confirm. So let me confirm this. This is what the email looks like. Remember we built this earlier? So it's confirming my um, subscription. So this is what the prospect customer would get because they basically wanna know, hey, you know, you're receiving this from YouTube social media contact. You can change this if you think it's like, ah, uh, I wanna change my list. You can go back to manage list and change that. So I'm gonna confirm subscription. So your subscription have been confirmed. Please check your email. So I can check my email, back my email and it should be confirmed there. And let me go back to, let's see here. Go back to, uh, let's see here, let me see, Aweber. Let me go back here. So, let me go back to the home page. Okay, so I'm back to the home page. I'm under the the actually active list. Make sure you under under that particular list, and then you see subscribe. So now the person, I went back in there and I accepted the actually invitation or the subscription, the invite. If I click on there, it's gonna have information about it. And this is the time and the date that I did. And I filled out a form, which is basically this. If I click on that, it's gonna basically have that subscription list that we just added it on there. So it's really pretty cool to do. This is a way that you can do it manually. And you know, this is how you can get people to be added on. So you can add them manually. So this is a way, and you can export the CSV file. And this is the way of really adding people to your list on the manual basis way. So this is a way of creating a simple list. So now I can go ahead and send emails to this particular person and I can send an email to this Shelton, Sheltown23 at yahoo.com. So I can go ahead and do that by going to, let's say I go to broadcast, there's no, no broadcast. 
nothing's been broadcasted yet. So I can do a draft or a broadcast. So I can create a message, plain text. So I just want to do something very, very basic. So I'm going to do testing. This is going to be a basic email, testing one, two, three. And I'm going to save it. And then now I'm going to schedule it. And so now I'm just going to immediately send. Today I'm going to immediately send. So this is just a basic testing. Send now. So now that person is being sent and actually emailed. And I'll check my email inbox to make sure I received it. It's sending right now. It usually doesn't take too long, maybe a couple of minutes. So basically, we create a list. We add a sus subscriber and then we send a message to that subscriber's email address. Very, very simple and very, very easy. So let me go ahead and refresh it. It's sending right now with just one email. And let's see if the person, if I received it already, it's probably on its way. So usually it take a couple of minutes to go ahead and do this. So here at the top here, you can always click on list to be able to get to all your managed lists, create your list. You can do a lot of different things in that functionality. Make sure you have active list and it's set up to the list that you're working with. I cannot really repeat that long, more enough because a lot of times you can be working out of a different list and you may not have all your information in there because you're working out a different list. So make sure you under that active list that you're working on. That's so, so important to do, be able to do that. So it is sending still. It's probably getting all the details and information to do. You can click on schedule. There's nothing scheduled and split test is how you can split test different types of emails to make sure that they are getting sent there as well. So let me make sure, let me see, broadcast. Let me see, they're still sending. I'm gonna check the email, let me refresh this. Um, so it should be on its way. And also, let me check on the trash, make sure it didn't go to spam. It's probably just sitting there, so probably need a couple of minutes, probably maybe it's, it's getting it started. So let's do a recap here. So if I go to list, I can create, I create my list. Remember we create the list right here. We did that. We have one active subscriber to we cause we manually added it in there. Remember you can actually change the information in here, the name, the, the description, the name and from the from name and address, the email address. Just want to change that the address, the notification. So you can actually add another person to receive notif notifications on here, which is really, really cool. I really like that. So it's really easy to kind of set up, personalize. You can set, you can change this as well, which is the website. I just, this is just a test one in there. So it's not really a real one. And then the company name, you can add a logo and you also can share it on social media as well. And confirmation page, you can change that as well. You can change what you want the message to actually be. So that's not a problem at all. So it seemed like I got a new email. So the messages came in that we did earlier. So that is the test. Remember we did test one, two, three, and it just automatically has your address at the bottom there. I did not select that to be off as well. And then of course you can unsubscribe by clicking on there. So this is the email address that we sent to, which is really cool. And if we go back to the broadcast, cause remember the broadcast is just a single email. This is the email that's sent out. Of course, um, I did open it up. So it should say, it should have some information on there. Uh, look, probably just probably just need to let me see if it shows. So it's still probably resetting all its information here. View stats, view message, and one sent. So it does shows that has been sent, and then it'll probably open up. It says, okay, this person opened it up as well. So that's how you create a simple list in Aweber. Don't forget, click on the link below to open up your free Aweber account. Go ahead and create your list for your social media presence or for your blog or for your podcast or for anything like that. You need to have a list to be able to email and communicate with your customers. I can't stress that enough. You need to have a list no matter what you're doing. I'm Adam Shelton. Thank you for watching this video today. Don't forget to create your list Create, you can sign up. Actually, you, you can do the free trial. Either, either it's a free trial or it's a 15% off. So go ahead and check out the AWeber signing up. Let's go ahead and do that. And I can't wait for you to build your list, build your business, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
I'll see you later.